Hello class, today we're going to look at surface area once again, but this time in this video we're going to look at how to find surface area of a triangular prism. Okay. So again we look at our formulas. Our formula is the same as in the last video dealing with a rectangular prism. Okay. For the lateral surface area, surface area is equal to perimeter of the base times the distance between the bases. In this video this H becomes a little tricky to find. So I need to make sure you understand what we're talking about. For total surface area, we're going to look at perimeter of the base times the height of the distance between the two bases plus two times the area of the base. Now in this particular video, we're talking about triangles. So to find that B, it's not length times the width anymore. It's now base times height divided by two. Okay. And to find your base and your height, they're going to be the two pieces that are touched by the right angle that are on the base. Okay, so let's dive off into this section. So here's our triangular prism. Okay, now a triangular prism is made up of five faces. And this is kind of what they look like in seventh grade when we deal with it with a net. Okay, so what we're looking at to find the area of this particular thing. Now, if it's an equilateral triangle, all three rectangles will be the same. But most of the time it's not. So we can't just find one rectangle and triple it you actually have to use the formula. But we need to understand something, okay? That when we name a prism, we name it based on its base. And its base is not what it's sitting on most of the time, unless it's a rectangular prism. In this one, since we call it a triangular prism, the base is the triangles. So our capital B's are gonna be dealt with with the triangle. Okay, so let's see if we can actually find the surface area of this particular shape. So here's that triangle that we just had just a few moments ago. Now, this has the same formula okay, for, as the, in the last video for a prism. So S equals perimeter of the base times the distance between the bases plus two times the area of the base. So let's start off by finding the perimeter. Now, since we know this is a triangular prism, one way to kind of help out and help you identify the parts is trace the triangle with your pencil. Okay, trace it. And that tells me the sides I need to add together to find my perimeter. Okay, so I know this side is eight and I'm looking for this side. Well, the one back here on this side is five. So that makes this one five as well. And then this one is the same thing. So I'm just gonna add the two fives and the eight together to give me 18 for my perimeter. Times, and now, to find the height of the figure, we're looking for the distance between the two triangles. So when I trace that out, it's the number that I didn't hit. This one right here, the six. Okay, so times six, because that's the distance between the two triangles. It's not the three, because the three is the height of the triangle, not the distance between the triangles. Okay, so plus two times. Now we need to find our area of the base. Now we just talked about that that the formula for finding the area of the base in this particular video is going to be base times height divided by two. Okay, because that's what our triangle is. Okay, so we look at our base over here. Our base of our triangle is eight and our height is three because that's the part that's touched by the right angle. So to find our capital B, we just kind of come right here. Capital B is equal to base times height divided by two. So eight times three is 24 divided by two gives us 12. So our capital B is 12. Now we just go to our calculator and type that in. So 18 times six plus two times 12 gives us a total surface area of 132 centimeters squared. And again, because we're finding area, our label is squared. <clears throat> now to find the lateral surface area, we just look at the first part, okay? Because I want to exclude the bases. So we would just do 18 times six, and we would end up with 108 centimeters squared for the lateral surface area. So what you see is all we're doing is plugging into a formula. A formula is just a set of directions that you have to follow. So what I'd like for you to do then is let's do one more by yourself. Pause the video and find for me the total and lateral surface area of this triangular prism.
Okay, let's see how you did. Step number one, write the formula down. S equals perimeter of the base times the distance between the bases plus two times the area of the base. Okay, so step number one, let's highlight our triangle that we're looking for. Okay, so my triangle that I'm looking for is right there, okay? <clears throat> so now we need to add those pieces together. So I know this one's 10, I know this one's six. So what's this one? Well, back here it's nine, so it's gonna be nine. So we're gonna add 10 plus nine plus six gives us 25 for our perimeter times, and now we need the distance between the bases. Well, the distance between the bases is this one right here, okay? The 18, so times 18 plus two times, and now we need to find the area of the base. And just like in the last one, we're looking for the base of the triangle times the height of the triangle, and it's the ones that are touched by the right angle right there. So that is our 10 and five. So for our capital B, it's gonna be base times height divided by two. So that's 10 times five divided by two. So we type that, <coughs> you type that in and you get 25 for the area of the base. So now we just have to plug it into our calculator. So 25 times 18 plus two times 25, enter. And we end up with a total surface area of 500 centimeters <clears throat> squared. Now to find our lateral surface area, we just use the front part. Perimeter of the base times the distance between the bases. So 25 times 18, we end up with 450 centimeters squared. And that's how you find the area or surface area of a triangular prism.